Hi guys, so today we're going to talk about the admin init action hook. Okay. So basically this action is executed after WordPress loads its core after registering all actions. Okay. So let's quickly check where it's defined. And so if you go to Adam Brown info uh, website, and if you click on admin in it, you can see it is defined in WP admin admin dot PHP. Okay. So if you check that file, you will see that this is a do action admin in it that has been defined over here, right? Okay, cool. okay uh, so it finds out what page to execute before producing the actual output before calling any uh, action callback okay and um, it is fired when an admin screen or script is being initialized so I'll explain that to you what that means so this is our admin screen guys okay and whenever this is initialized that hook is fired okay so whenever an admin screen or script is being initialized it is fired all right cool so next uh, also want to let you know that the admin in it is triggered before any other hook when a user access the admin area so whenever user goes onto that admin dashboard tries to access it this hook is fired before any other hook okay however one thing that you need to note that the admin menu hook is defined before admin in it so admin menu hook is fired before admin in it so i'll just show that to you so if you go to codex uh, and if you go to the action reference uh, you will see that uh, let's just search it admin in it you can see admin men, uh, menu admin underscore menu this this hook is defined before admin in it okay so although admin it is fired uh, before everything but then admin menu is defined before so this will be fired first so do not define the admin in it inside the admin menu hook functions because uh, you know the admin in it is defined later so it needs to come later all right Next, guys, and check the add action admin in it. So you can go ahead and you know uh, hook your custom function with the add action function to this particular hook. It says that this hook doesn't provide any parameters, so it can only be used to call back a specified function. So if you go to where it's defined, you can see there is no parameter parameter over here. Okay, defined. So it doesn't use any parameters. So let's go ahead and take an example. Uh, the first example says over here that restrict access to administration screens only administration administrators will be allowed to access the admin screens and all other users uh, sorry yeah all other users uh, will be shown a message instead so all other users will be showing this message you are not allowed to access this part of the site uh, we do allow access for ajax requests though since these may be initiated from the front end of the site by non-admin users okay so if, if it's an ages request then that will be completed that will not be stopped so how do we do that let's go to our admin page okay and let's go ahead and create a new user okay so let's go ahead and give this user uh, let's keep a name as you know uh, sam and let's give him a password of Sam as well. Okay. And let's say it's a subscriber. And we also need to mention his email address. At gmail.com And let's create this user. <coughs> so this user is created. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and log out. Before we log in, uh, let's go ahead and copy this code into our functions.php of our theme. 
or plugin so i've copied that code uh, so basically i'm defined this add action uh, function with this add init hook that we're discussing and we are calling our custom function restrict admin and let's go ahead and prefix it so that it doesn't clash with any other function it's always best practice to prefix your functions with your theme name or something that you like uh, it's called namespacing okay and then this is uh, the priority uh, of one so all right it's got the highest priority so we're checking current user can manage options so basically we're checking the user this is user capability this parameter and we're checking if the current user can if that is false and if this is wp doing ajax function basically checks if it's an ajax request or not so if you go onto the codex and you check wp doing ajax this determines whether the current request is a wordpress ajax request or not so we are saying that if it is not the uh, ajax request and if this is not the current user can if the current user doesn't have the capability if he's not the admin then go ahead and you know die uh, end this script and just uh, put this message on that you are not allowed to access this part of the site. That's all what is happening over here So let's go ahead and log in with the Subscriber user and if you log in you can see that you're not allowed. So it's not opening the file Okay, second thing that we can do is um, instead of uh, Dying this script we can also redirect the user to a different site so let's say, you know, we direct him to my site, which is HTTP Imran Sayyid.com. Okay. As you can see, that he has gone to Imran Sayyid.com. Okay. So, so that's what. Uh, what is it used for so that is one way of using the admin in it uh, there are other ways also to use the admin in it uh, hook so let's go ahead and delete this whole thing sorry let's go ahead and log in uh, with the admin so that we are able to view everything as it was before okay cool so let's say that we want to go ahead and uh, add some of the menu items over here like you have custom field settings similarly I want to add a menu item over here okay and I want to uh, go ahead and perform some some of the actions so for that also we can use the admin init hook so I'm just going to uncomment my code out I know it's a big set of code but trust me I'm not going to explain the whole thing because there's another video that you can watch which explains the whole thing over here so I'll just uh, give you a quick summary of what's happening over here we're trying to create a menu item um, so I'll just refresh the page to see what has happened after I put the code so see this is the menu item that's been created if I click on it I see all the input over here okay input field so basically what's happening over here is that um, I'm using the admin menu uh, hook which we discussed in our previous video and I explained to you how admin menu can be used to create new menu items uh, so this hook is basically calling this function uh, which is using the add, add menu page function to go ahead and create this menu item so so this function basically at this present time is just creating this and plus it's creating the title okay theme option so this theme option is basically the title of our page and this theme options page is basically the name of the menu item and then manage option is the user capability theme option is the slug and theme option page is the callback function okay so this callback function is called by this admin menu page and, and the job of this callback function theme options page is to go ahead and render this content on this page okay so this function basically has got div and then it's got a form and then you have the setting field function uh, which accepts the slug okay and uh, this setting fields function basically is going to call the add setting section which is going to create all the input field on 
on the top okay and then the do setting section again is got a slug uh, with the th same name as this function okay and this is going to call the add setting fields functions uh, the job of this is to create these two input fields the table okay and then <clears throat> finally uh, you know you have a set submit button as well uh, function which you know, creates this submit button and then again all these settings are registered by register setting function so so this header section is basically uh, this header section is basically registered uh, using the register setting function and this entire thing is is you know defined in display option functions and display option function is basically uh, what what is our custom function and we're using admin init hook to go ahead and call that function uh, when this script uh, loads at this point okay so there are a couple more functions as well which you've defined which are part of of these functions which the job of there is to display the description which is this part the header of the theme and the job of uh, these two function is to basically display the input fields which is this and this Okay, so to get uh, more detail about how to create this uh, page and this menu item and everything in depth, in detail, uh, I have my video which is for settings API, register setting function. And you can watch that. I'll leave the link in the comment below, uh, in the description below. Okay, and then you can watch it as well. Okay, but that's the whole idea. That's the gist of what the admin menu uh, hook is used for sorry admin init hook is used for so it is triggered before any other hook when a user accesses the admin area uh, so basically you can use this admin init hook to go ahead and uh, you know create your uh, register your uh, in fact call your function that registers the settings for the user uh, user admin menu and also you can go ahead and restrict the user uh, to show the admin page in case if he is not the admin etc all right so I hope, I hope that clears if you have any questions you can leave the comment uh, and you can watch the next tutorials for more thank you very much guys bye, -bye.